Thank you for taking the time to attend this presentation on Seracult and Seracult Plus, proper manufacturing company's answer to fecal occult blood testing. Through this presentation, attendees will know the purpose of fecal occult blood testing, understand the advantages and limitations of guaiac-based fecal occult blood testing, and attendees will know how to perform a fecal occult blood test. What is fecal occult blood testing? or FOBT. Fecal occult blood testing is a means of detecting occult blood, that which is unseen in a stool sample. It is a screening tool to determine if more invasive tests are necessary, as occult blood in a stool sample may be an early indicator of colorectal cancer or other pathology. It should not be viewed as conclusive evidence confirming or denying any pathology. The CDC provides clear guidelines on when an adult should be screened for colorectal cancer. I encourage you to take a look through the entire guideline document in the link below. Adults age 45 to 75 should be screened for colorectal cancer. This was recently updated as it was previously adults age 55 to 75. For adults between 76 and 85 years old, it is recommended that their care providers make this decision on an individual basis based upon their risk factors and medical history. Next, we will discuss how a guaiac-based FOBT works. Seracult and Seracult Plus are Guaiac Fecal Occult Blood Tests, or GFOBTs. On these types of tests, alpha guaiaconic acid combines with a developer solution and in the presence of hemoglobin from the blood, produces a visible blue quinone compound. Guaiac-based fecal occult blood tests are fast, easy to use, and reliable. Sample collection can be done at home or in the clinic, and these tests are quite cost-effective for medical practices and patients alike. However, patients utilizing guaiac-based fecal occult blood tests do have to abide by dietary restrictions, which we will go over shortly. It's important to remember that these tests are qualitative and not quantitative, so there is no numeric output regarding how much blood is present in the sample. Here you can see an outline of the special diet that must be followed for fecal occult blood testing, like Seracol. Patients may consume generous amounts of cooked and uncooked vegetables, including lettuce, corn, or spinach. They may consume moderate amounts of high fiber foods, such as cereals, peanuts, or popcorn. They should of course consume plenty of fruits and well-cooked pork, poultry, and fish. However, prior to testing, patients should avoid rare and lightly cooked meats, especially beef. They should avoid certain vegetables and fruits like cauliflower, turnips, broccoli, and cantaloupe. They should limit their vitamin C to 250 milligrams per day, avoid iron-rich supplements, and avoid aspirins or other medications which may cause gastrointestinal irritation. These things are known to cause false positive tests, and so avoiding them reduces the risk of getting a false positive on a fecal occult blood test. There are many benefits of utilizing Seracult and Seracult Plus. Seracult is for use with lower risk patients, while Seracult Plus should be used for your highest risk patients, those patients with family medical history or known reason to be concerned about colorectal cancers and other pathologies. Seracol and Seracol Plus are available in single or triple slide options, which allow for single sample or serial sample testing. Both Seracol and Seracol Plus are available for in-office configurations, as well as for at-home sample collection. Each Seracol and Seracol Plus test includes a Seracult card with guaiac impregnated paper, Seracult developer, applicator cards, and instructions for use. If you're using a home-based sample collection method, 
It will also include a pre-addressed foil envelope for returning the sample to the office. Seracult and Seracult Plus are quite easy to use. Using your applicator, collect a small sample of stool on one end of the applicator and apply it to the open window. Collect the second sample from another part of the stool and apply it to the window as well. Be mindful of the hydrophobic barrier protecting the control area. After the sample collection, the card should be returned to the clinical staff if the sample was collected at home. The clinical staff should then turn the card over and apply the developer solution to the back side of the card. Just two drops should be placed over the sample and the control. The result will appear quite quickly, typically in less than 30 to 60 seconds. Any trace of blue color on the sample area indicates a positive result. You will see a short video later in this presentation demonstrating the use of this Seracult card. There are a few things that it's important to remember when using Seracult and Seracult Plus. Always pay careful attention to the control area of the test. The control area verifies proper test performance of each slide. Always check the expiration date of the slides and the developer solution. Never use expired slides or developer solution. Be sure to check for a color change shortly after applying the developer solution, as the developed blue color may fade after a few minutes. Seracult and Seracult Plus feature a very long sample stability, up to 28 days. However, when patients are taking these tests home for sample collection, it's especially important to be mindful of this sample stability and that tests are returned in a timely manner. Today we discussed Seracol and Seracol Plus, two excellent options for determining the presence of fecal occult blood. Seracol and Seracol Plus both feature a very long sample stability and near instant results. They feature a protected control area that allows you to know that your slide is working properly. When doing these tests in a non-emergent situation, be mindful that your patients must follow strict food and vitamin restrictions prior to testing to minimize the risk of false positive tests. Seracol and Seracol Plus are highly versatile test options. They are of course available in two strengths for your high and lower risk patients. They are available in single or triple slide configurations and they can be done with at home or in office stool sample collection. Thank you. I am going to demonstrate how to use Seracult and Seracult Plus slides for fecal occult blood testing. Always choose the most appropriate slide for your patient's risk level for colorectal cancer and other pathologies. Today, I'm going to demonstrate the use of Seracult Plus. Always fill out the patient information on the slide for record keeping and test integrity. Once the information is complete on the slide, we will move forward with applying the sample. We will use the provided applicator sticks to apply the sample. Today, we're using a test solution to demonstrate applying a stool sample to the Seracult Plus slide. When collecting a specimen from the patient's stool sample, we will collect two specimens from different portions of the stool sample and apply the specimen to the slide in the circle areas. Once the samples have been applied, close the slide and turn the slide over to apply the developer. If the sample is collected from the patient at home, at this point, they will return the slide to your office. Once you've turned the slide over, 
you'll see a space to apply the developer solution. You'll always apply the solution to each sample as well as the control strip to ensure that your test is working properly. Always use the correct developer with the correct slide. Here we're using Seracult Plus with Seracult Plus slides. Within a few seconds, you'll have the results from your test. Here you can see the blue color which has developed from the presence of blood in our samples. You can also see a blue color on the control indicating that the slide is working properly. Thank you for joining our presentation today. If you have any questions at all, you can reach out to our education team at academy at propermfg.com or our customer service team at customer service at propermfg.com as you see on the screen right now. Thank you again for joining us and please do not hesitate to reach out if you have any questions moving forward.